Hello everybody and welcome to Skip Allen Paints and the YouTube channel of Skip Allen. On July 27th, I think it was, in 2016, Wacom released some new drivers for its tablets. And so I thought this would be a good time to update the information I have on how to uninstall and install drivers for your Wacom tablets. Um, I also have done a video about how to select the driver for your particular Wacom tablet. I'll put these two videos together on my blog and I'll also put them in a playlist uh, on my YouTube channel. So let's get started. Okay, if you've been updating your Wacom drivers on a regular basis, then you have got a Wacom Desktop Center. Okay, now it may not look exactly like this one. This looks different from the last one uh, I had, but I recently installed, I installed that driver that was available July 27th. And after installing that, this is the way the Wacom Desktop Center looks. And so I'm assuming it looks the same for everybody. And it's not just specific to the N205 Touch. I say that because I'm away from home right now and I don't have my Cintiq. I brought my Intuos 5 Touch and so I needed to update the driver for the Intuos 5 Touch, which I did. And this is the desktop center that came up. So like I said, I'm assuming this works for everybody. Now, if you have a Wacom desktop center, it is a very useful tool. I, I have used it to install and uninstall, uh, well, actually it's just to install a new driver and it always works seamlessly. So I'm, I'm convinced this is probably the best way to do it. For a while, I didn't trust the product. I kept thinking I want to do it myself, you know, but what happens is if you have a new driver that uh, needs to be installed, this Wacom Desktop Center will automatically alert you that there's a new driver available. And then all you have to do is click on download and install the driver and it will download, it will uninstall what it needs to and install the driver uh, for your particular computer. It's seamless and works very well. Now, if it has not shown you that there's a new driver available and you want to keep testing, all you have to do is click on updates and it will tell you what driver you're using and if there's another update available. And now sometimes in previous versions that hasn't always happened for me, but most of the time it is working now. Okay. You can do other things here, like back up your settings. Um, you know, you can click, I'm, I'm not going to go over all of this, but you could click on something like pin settings and it would open up your uh, tablet properties. Okay. So if you, <laughs> don't know why that opened again. So if you are, um, if you, if you are installing downloading and installing a new driver, I would use the Wacom Desktop Center to do that. But now a lot of times people are concerned that their driver is corrupted. They think uh, something is happening with the Wacom and they need to reinstall uh, the same driver that they had before. And so you would install, uninstall your driver and reinstall it. If you do that, this Wacom Desktop Center probably will not work for you because it won't it won't see your pr previous product. I wouldn't use it if you were wanting to manually do this. Okay, so if you want to manually uninstall and install uh, a Wacom driver, then this is the method I would tell you to use. Okay. The first thing you'd want to do is open the desktop center if you have one or open your Wacom tablet preference utility and back up your preferences. Now, remember, I just showed you that on the Wacom desktop center, you can back up. 
But the other option is whether you're on a PC or a Mac, you have something called a tablet preference file utility. It doesn't look the same uh, on a Mac as it does on uh, a PC, but their function is pretty much the same. Anyway, you could click here for backing up your preference, and then you would click here to restore it. Okay, so as we said, the first thing you want to do is back up your preferences. The next thing to do is disconnect your tablet from your computer, whether it's a Cintiq, a, uh, just a regular tablet like an Intuos Pro, disconnect the tablet from your PC. Now, if it's Cintiq, you don't have to disconnect the monitor part. You want to just disconnect the tablet part. There are two connections to your PC with your Cintiq. So it's just the part that uh, connects to the computer, not the part that connects to the video card. All right. Then you want to download the new driver from Wacom. You want to uninstall the old driver, reboot your computer, install the new driver, reboot your computer, and then connect your tablet back to your computer. Okay, that's the basic way of doing an install and uninstall. And I think what I'm going to do now is stop this video at this point and do two more little videos that are about um, how to do this for your Mac and how to do it for uh, your PC. All right, I'll be back in a minute. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.